we have the methods of solving differential equation. Now, one of the methods of solving differential equation is separation of variables. For the separation of variables, we have to follow this format m dx plus n dy is equivalent to zero. Okay, so in a separation of a variable, we have to group all x with dx and all y with dy. That is the only process that is done in a separation of variable. Now this mdx plus ndy is usually the format of differential equation where we can solve or we can make use of this method which is separation of variables. Okay, so we have to make an example. We have example one. Solve the equation dy over dx equals 2y over x. Now to solve this equation, we have to group all x with dx and all y with dy. So for this case, we have to use cross multiplication so that dx will be transferred here and then 2y will be transferred here. So that is cross multiplication so that we can group our x with dx and y with dy. Thus, we have dy over 2y is equivalent to dx over x. So again, this dx is transferred here and then this 2y is transferred here so that we can now group our y with dy and x with dx. So that is the first method of uh, this process separation of variable. We have to group our x with the x and y with dy. The next step is to apply integral to both sides. So we have the integral of dy over 2y is equivalent to the integral of dx over x. And so we integrate this one, the integral of dy over 2y, this is dy over y, that is du over u, which is ln u. Let u equals 2y, or you can uh, separate 2, that is 1 half times the integral of dy over y. So dy over y, integral of dy over y equals ln y. So we have 1 half ln of y, which is equivalent to the integral of dx over x equals ln x. And then we always have this plus c. Now plus c, since we have here ln, okay, so we can make use of, instead of writing c, okay, so instead of writing c, we will make use of L and C. Take note C is constant and if we have, if we will write L and C, this is also constant. Now the main reason why we write L and C is because we have here an L n, two L n. We have an L n for Y and then we also have an L n for X. So we will just make use of L and C instead of C only. So, this time, we will mo since we have here a fraction uh, in differential equation, we usually avoid any fraction. So, to, the, to avoid fraction, we have to multiply it by 2 to the whole equation. So, if we multiply 2 with all equation, what remains here is ln y, which is equivalent to 2 ln of x plus 2 ln of c. 
Now, this one will be transferred here, and then we will just separate this C on the other side. All it will remain on this side, side, and then these two L and X will be transferred here. But before we transfer, we have to make use of two as our exponent to X. Remember, in the rules of logarithm, if we have, for example, X, ln, Y, that can be rewrite as ln of Y raised to X. So this is one rule in logarithmic functions. If you have any variable or number here, you can make this one as your exponent to your uh, variable here in ln of, let's say for this case, ln y. So your x will become your exponent to y. So we have this one, ln. I will transfer here on the other side. We have ln y minus ln of x squared. Take note, 2 will become your exponent to x. For example, this one. So that this is ln x squared. And then it will transfer to the other side that becomes negative, which is equivalent to, for this case, we have ln of c squared. And then also, and take note also, or as a reminder, we have in a logarithmic function theory, if we have ln of x minus ln y, that is equivalent to, uh, okay, I will rewrite this one again, ln of x minus ln of y, that is equivalent to ln of x over y if that is negative if this is positive ln of x plus ln of y that is equivalent to ln of x y that is the case if this is positive so you have to multiply your x and y if this is negative then you have to divide your x and y so for this case this is negative or minus so the result is ln of y over x squared, which is equivalent to ln of c squared. If you have noticed, this is ln, this is also an ln. Now, by the way, before that, we have also, take note also for a logarithmic function rule, if we have, let's say, two, uh, equals ln of y and if you want to transfer ln to the other side that becomes e raised to 2 is equal to y so take note of this one okay we go back here ln of y over x squared equals ln of c squared if you have noticed we have here ln and then we also have ln on the other side so we can cancel this one. What remains here is y over x squared is equal to c squared. We can cancel ln. And then again, if you have noticed, this is in fraction. So we avoid fraction. Therefore, we transfer x squared to the other side. Our final answer now is x squared c squared. This is our final answer. Y equals x squared c squared. We call this one as our general solution. Okay. So this is our first example for a separation of variable. Another example of solving equation using separation of variables, we have 2x times y plus 1 dx minus y dy equals 0. So our m here, this is m dx, this is in the format of m dx plus n dy. We have our n here that is negative y. And then our m equals 2x times y plus 1. 
So we have dx. Okay, solve the equation where x equals 0 and y equals negative 2. So we have here a condition of x and y. To solve this equation, we have to write first again the equation, which is 2xy plus 1 dx minus y dy is equivalent to 0. This time, we will group x with dx and y with dy. This will become 2x dx minus this one y dy all over this y plus 1. So we will, uh, we will transfer y plus 1 and then it will become your denominator for y dy. For this case, we can apply integral. Remember, in a separation of variables, after we group our x with dx and y with dy, the next step is apply integration. For this part, we can integrate this part directly. However, on this part, we need to do something before we integrate because there is no direct integration for this part. Thus, we make use of uh, division. We have y divided by y plus 1. We will make use of division for this part. y divided by y equals 1. 1 times y, that is y. 1 times 1 equals 1. When we subtract, that is negative 1. Okay, we will apply now integral, integral of 2x dx minus the integral of the result of this one. When we divide, we have 1 minus 1 over y plus 1. This is our remainder. If we have a remainder, then we will write over y plus 1. The remainder 1, that is negative 1 over y plus 1. And then that is dy is equivalent to 0. Before I integrate, okay, I will write here integral of 0. Before I integrate, I will distribute first dy. So that we have 2 integral of x dx minus dy integral negative times negative that is positive dy integral of dy over y plus 1 which is equivalent to integral of 0. Then we have to integrate this one integral of x equals x squared over 2 and then you have here 2 so you cancel 2 the final answer here is x squared minus the integral of dy equals y. And then this one is dy over y plus 1, that is ln u. Integral of ln u, I mean integral of du over u equals ln u. So we have plus ln of y plus 1. And then, of course, we have here plus C. We will not make use of LN because we only have one LN on this side. If we have two LN on this side, then we can make use of LN C. Then, okay, so actually, we this is our, what we call as the general solution. We have here C. However, in our problem, a condition we're given which is x equals 0 and y equals negative 2. This time, we will substitute the value of x and value of y into our general solution. So x is equal to 0 squared minus our y, that is negative 2, plus ln of the absolute value. Take note, in an ln, we always have a absolute value which is y equals negative 2 plus 1, which is equivalent to c. 
Now, this is negative times negative. That is positive 2. And then ln of negative 2, negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1. This is an absolute value. Absolute value of negative 1 equals 1 plus ln of 1, which is equivalent to C. For this case, if you use your calculator, ln of 1 is equivalent to 0. Therefore, C equals 2. Or I will write. 2 equals C because ln of 1 is 0 when you use your calculator. Take note this is positive 1 because this is negative 2 plus 1 equals negative 1 and then the absolute value of any number is positive. So that ln of 1 is 0 plus 2 equals 2. That is now the value of our letter of our constant C. Once we find C, we go back to our general equation. This is our general equation. And then substitute the value of C. X squared minus Y plus LN of Y plus 1 is equal to 2. If you have noticed our value of C equals 2, we will no longer write here C for this case. So this will be our final answer. We call this one as our particular particular solution. Particular solution. Okay. So in our first example, we have general solution and then this one is particular solution we call this particular solution a if we have already find the value of c which is in this case that is equivalent to two now you can find particular solution if you have the values of x and y as given from your problem